morning, Brooklyn class, and welcome to Homeschool with Carly, where I share daily videos for you to follow along or just watch. And don't forget to hit subscribe below if you like these videos so you can get notified every time I post a new one. So let's get started. Today, we are going to learn how a fish can breathe oxygen underwater. So you're going to need a couple of supplies for this activity. The first thing is you're going to need two glass cups. One is going to be filled with water halfway, and one is empty. You will need a spoon, a rubber band or hair tie, a coffee filter, and some coffee grinds. Okay, so the first thing, you're going to take the empty glass jar, okay? Next, you're going to take your coffee filter and place it directly on top of the glass jar. You will need your hair tie or rubber band. So, once you have the coffee filter placed on top of the glass jar, you're going to press down a little bit on the coffee filter so that it goes into the cup. Then, you're going to take your filter, wrap it around the cup, place your rubber band or hair tie around the filter. So, to reiterate, you should have an empty glass with a filter, rubber band or hair tie, and a divot in the center of your filter. Okay? Next, you're going to take your glass of water, your spoon, and your coffee grinds. So I'm going to take a couple of these coffee grinds and add it to our water, okay? Now you don't want too much coffee filters, grinds, but enough that it creates a little bit of a pile on the water. Then you're going to stir it and it's going to get murky. So you want that effect, you want the water to get nice and brown and dirty looking, okay? So we have now a glass of water mixed with coffee grinds and a glass that's empty with a filter and a divot. So we are going to pretend that this empty glass is a fish gill, okay? So when we look at a fish, a fish has gills on the side of its head. This is going to be that gill, okay? And we are going to pretend that the water in this is water that the fish is swimming in. So whether that be fresh water or ocean water, you choose. The coffee grinds are going to be the oxygen that the fish breathes, okay? So we are going to learn how a fish's gill works. So when I pour this water, this murky water, into here, let's see what happens. So this is going to be a slow process. It's quite like making coffee. As you can see, the water is dripping down. But what I've noticed is that on the top, the coffee grinds, or the oxygen, are staying inside the filter, right? So we have the water down below, which is nice and clean and a little bit colored. But we have the grinds sitting on top. So remember, I said that the grinds are like the oxygen that the fish breathes and the water is like the water that the fish is swimming in. So when a fish takes in the water into its body, it takes in the oxygen, keeps it inside its body, and spits out the excess water, right? Because we all use oxygen to function. It's important for our veins and blood and circulation. So, much like us, a fish needs oxygen to survive. So, what is happening? Why would a fish take in the oxygen and keep the oxygen? And how does the water just come out so clean? How does that work? So let's find out. I drew this picture of a fish, which I showed you before. 
And as you can see, I put arrows on this fish. So what happens is the fish actually takes in water through its mouth, okay? So that's why a lot of times when you look in a fish tank, the fish's mouth is always opened or moving, right? So the fish takes in the water, passes it through into the gills. The gills, much like our cup, capture the oxygen and then spit out the water through the gills. So the function right here is the gills. And the gills are able to take in that oxygen, turn it back into carbon dioxide, much like the human body, and spit the water back out of the gills. So it's a very important process. And if the fish did not have gills, the fish would not be able to breathe and take in the oxygen. So it's super important because in the water, oxygen is very different. It's not like the air that we breathe here, but in the water, you can't necessarily breathe if you didn't have the fish gills. So this is a really great representation of how it works because the oxygen goes in and is able to stay in the body and go through the fish's circulatory system, but the water goes back out into the ocean or the lake, depending upon where your fish is living. So this is a really interesting activity that you can do at home, and it's a great way for you to understand how aquatic animals, such as fish, shellfish, are all able to breathe underwater. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!